Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy pot holder or washcloth. You can use it either way. It works up really really fast and like you can see there is a border that we crochet right away with this beautiful stitch. It's just a one row repeat and it's so so easy to crochet and like I said this is a great pattern for a beginner like I said the border around here we will crochet right away with it so this is what it looks like and now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this super easy pot holder Today I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and your selected yarn. Today I'm using Paintbox Yarns Cotton Aran. It's a little bit thicker yarn. This is why I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. I really really love working with this yarn and they have them in so many beautiful colors. I would recommend 100% cotton yarn for a pot holder or washcloth so you can wash it and nothing is gonna happen to the yarn and of course you can use any yarn you would like and i will put the link for this yarn down below now let's get started we will start with a slip knot and the only thing you have to watch out for, if you would like to make it larger or smaller, it has to be a multiple of two plus one. For my pot holder, I crocheted 31 chains. So a multiple of two, we have 30 and then one chain extra. So we have a total of 30. 31 chains and this is how you can adjust the size which is super super easy but if you would like to make the same all you have to do is chain 31 chains so just grab the yarn and pull through grab the yarn and pull through until you have 31 chains i just finished my 31 chains and now we need the second stitch from the hook so this is the first and we need the second one so you will just insert your hook into the second stitch grab the yarn pull up you have two loops on your hook and now grab the yarn and pull through both loops we will be working in single crochets for the first four rows so just one single crochet in every stitch and you should have a total of 30 single crochets in the first row so just one single crochet in every stitch I'm here at the end of row one and I have 30 single crochets for the next row you will chain one and turn your work around and again we will work one single crochet in every stitch so into the very first stitch right here you will answer your hook grab the yarn pull up and finish your single crochet this row is also super easy, just one single crochet in every stitch. I'm here at the end of row two and it's really important not to miss the last stitch. So you will insert into the very last stitch and finish. And now you can see we have a straight edge. And we just finished row two, you will chain one, turn your work around and work two more rows of single crochets just like we did before. So into the very first stitch start with a single crochet and just keep repeating this all the way along. This is row three, you will crochet another row so you have a total of four rows with single crochets. I just finished my four rows of single crochets and now we will start the row with this beautiful grid stitch. So chain one, turn your work around and now we will crochet four single crochets. 
So in the first four stitches, you will crochet one single crochet in every stitch. So this is my third and this is my fourth. And now we will start the beautiful pattern, which is also super, super easy. So into the very first stitch after the four single crochets, you see we have here the four single crochets, insert your hook into the fifth stitch and work a slip stitch, just like this. Now into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. Now you will grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. This is how you crochet a half double crochet. And this is our repeat. So again, into the next stitch, work a slip stitch. And into the next one, yarn over, insert your hook and work a half double crochet. And this is all you have to do until you reach the last four stitches. In the last four stitches, we will be working four single crochets again, just like on the very beginning. But for now, all you have to do is just a slip stitch, a half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, until you reach the last four stitches. I just reached the last four stitches and in those we will be working one single crochet in every stitch. So four single crochets in total. Just like this. And this is what it looks like. And this is the repeat we will be working through this whole pattern. So I show you again, chain one, turn your work around and into the very first four stitches, you will be working one single crochet. So one, two, three and four. And since we started in the first row with a slip stitch, we will continue the same pattern. So into the very first stitch, you will work a slip stitch. So just insert your hook through the stitch, grab the yarn and a slip stitch. Into the next stitch right here. If it's hard to see, turn your work a little bit and here you can see those little V's and this is the stitch you have to work in. Now a half double crochet. And this is all you have to do. So into the next stitch, work a slip stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch and work a half double crochet. Just keep repeating those two stitches until you reach the last four stitches again. This is where we'll be working four single crochets. So just half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch until you reach the last four stitches. I'm here at the end of my row and like you can see, I have five stitches left. I just wanted to show you that into the very last one, we will always be working a half double. So a half double crochet. And now in the last four stitches, just one single crochet in every stitch. So one, two, three, and four and this is what it looks like and this is the row you have to repeat so i will show you one more time yarn over chain one turn your work around and into the very first four stitches so you will work one single crochet so one two three and four and again, we will start with a slip stitch. This is all you have to remember. If you started with a slip stitch, you will start the next row also with a slip stitch. 
So slip stitch into the next stitch, a half double crochet. Again, slip stitch, half double crochet. And this is our repeat until you reach the last four stitches. In the last four stitches, you will do just like we did before, just four single crochets. I'm almost to the end again and the last stitch before the four single crochets is always a half double crochet. So finish with a half double crochet and then four single crochets. And this is the row you will have to repeat over and over again. I will crochet, keep crocheting and show you in just a little bit what it looks like and how many rows I repeated. But this is all you have to do. Just keep repeating this row over and over again. And this is what it looks like now. You can see it even better how pretty it looks like with the border already. And like I said, it works up really, really fast. So I crocheted another 25 rows or a total of 25 rows of the stitches with the grid stitch. And my piece measures now roughly 16 centimeters, which is 6.5 three inches um, and now I'm going to crochet four more rows to get a nice square you could of course keep repeating this row if you wanted to but now all we have to do is crochet four more rows of single crochets which is also super easy so you will chain one turn your work around and now all we have to do is work one single crochet in every stitch and a total of four rows so you will insert in every stitch and work a single crochet so just one single crochet in every stitch and of course, here you should also have a total of 30 single crochets. Okay, so I just finished the first row of single crochets and now you will work three more rows just like we did right here. So we need a total of four. So keep crocheting three more rows. Chain one, turn your work around and now it's even easier just one single crochet in every stitch for a total of four rows. I just finished the four rows of single crochets and this is what it looks like. So I'm here in my last stitch work a single crochet. Now I'm going to crochet 15 chains to be able to hang up this washcloth or pot holder. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I will show you how to do it. So I'm going to crochet a total of 15 chains. If you would like to make it longer, just keep crocheting more chains. But I'm going to crochet 15 in total. And now this is long enough for me. So all I'm going to do is insert the hook through the stitch right here. I hope you can see it. I'm just going through the stitch, grab the yarn to the front and make a slip stitch. So grab the yarn, pull through, you have two loops on your hook and now work a slip stitch. And now we have the little loop. What I'm going to do now is crochet one row of single crochets all the way around just to get an even prettier border. Also, this is also um, totally up to you. If you want to crochet it, you don't have to. So I'm going to insert into the very first stitch and I will go in every stitch along the edge here and just one single crochet. 
So just one single crochet in every stitch. So I crocheted one single crochet in every stitch and here at the edge I'm going to crochet two single crochets but both into the same stitch. So one single crochet, go into the same stitch again and another single crochet. And now you get a nice clean edge. And now all you have to do again is just one single crochet in every stitch. And once you get to the edge, you will do two single crochets in one stitch. And keep repeating this all the way around. Okay, so I crocheted this all the way around and look at this beautiful edge. So I crocheted this all the way around and I'm now here at my chains. And to make it a little bit thicker and more sturdy, I'm going to insert my hook into the very first chain and work a slip stitch just like this. Go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and again a slip stitch. And I'm going to repeat this in every stitch for a total of 15 stitches since I crocheted a chain with 15 chains. So just one slip stitch in every stitch. I'm here in my last stitch. I crocheted this all the way around and now I'm going to insert my hook into the very first single crochet, grab the yarn, pull up, work a slip stitch and to finish off chain one, pull really tight, grab your scissors and cut the yarn. Grab your hook, Pull the hook all the way through, just like this, and pull tight. And now it's all nice and secure. The only thing left is just sew in the yarn ends. To sew in the yarn ends, I'm going to grab my yarn needle, pull the yarn through, and I will just go through some stitches. Like you can see, I'm just going through some stitches. Pull tight, just don't pull too, too tight. And now turn your work around and go through the opposite side. Through some stitches, just like this. Pull, turn around, and again, go through some stitches. And now it's all nice and secure, and we can cut the yarn. And we will do exactly the same thing with the other yarn end. So just grab your yarn needle again, pull it through, and let's sew it in. So again, go through some stitches. Mine are pretty tight here, so just take your time. I will for now go through two stitches just to get the needle through. And now again, through some stitches, turn your work around, go through the opposite side. Again, pull through some stitches, turn, and again, through the opposite side, through some stitches. And then again, we can cut the yarn. And we are done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial to crochet this super easy and beautiful pot holder or washcloth with me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and of course, have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.